Hi, Dee. Hey, beautiful. Are you okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Okay, how did you not immediately scarf this down? You kidding? This is my third helping. What are you working on? Chief pulled over a truck for speeding this morning and found some illegal game in the back. I'm registering the ticket. <laughs> they never learn, do they? Nope. We uh, have new rules about civilians hanging around certain parts of the station. Reception booth is out of bounds. Sorry. A kid-sized bandit? What a weird-ass case. I can't imagine having my mugshot taken right here in front of everyone. Trust me, it'd be the least of your worries. Mm. Morning. Hola, Miss Ronan. Hey, Grex. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. God, I hope no one got hurt. At least we didn't spend the night here. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. Uncle's in there. <sighs> He's really letting that guy have it. 1712 East 8th Street, Anchorage, Alaska. 9950. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. Just visiting family. My folks and younger brother live here. Maybe you know him. Works at the post office. Name's Danny. Uh, yeah. I guess we kind of exposed some holes in their security. So you're here to visit family and also to hunt moose, correct? I probably shouldn't yeah. eavesdrop, uh, but. Why do you think those kids were lying? 
Well, we got a fish that we were writing about down in the roof of that. This is a bull. No, sir. The bull is in the truck. It's not about the wood where the fish is. I should grab a piece of cobbler before Greg's inhales all of it. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. Weather's getting colder day by day. <laughs> Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in wrestling and... Oh boy, is he working hard. Damn. Sometimes I miss being 14. What you reading? Oh, uh, about that doc strike? And the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh. I hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on! It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. What are you having? Trout pie and, uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? What are they talking about? They're talking about none of your business, young lady. On my way there next. I'm gonna have to tell the whole hospital what happened. So, I have that cute little criminal locked up in a kennel in the back of my car? And I really kind of need to get to work. I, I'd appreciate no, I it if you could take spine, him to right? animal control or whatever they used to do. Of course, yeah, sure, I'll handle it. You did the dirty work, so I can take it from here. Thank you. Thank you. You can't imagine how many hours we've spent on this case. I think I'll need to requisition your dog's kennel for the day, though. Sure, no problem. She doesn't care for it that much anyway. All right, I'll meet you outside in a minute. Then we will proceed with the prisoner's transfer. Okay. I'll await further instructions in the parking lot. Hey, Gregs. Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious, which is fine by me. Boring is good, not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's like actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. <sighs> Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Hmm, an animal? Like a raccoon, maybe? Have you been eavesdropping in on official police business? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Well, we need to try again soon. I feel so bad about missing your birthday. I thought about making you something, but I was a little strapped for time, so... No, I get it. With your brother back, I see where your priorities are now. What? No, no, it's not... Relax, I'm just kidding. I really gotta go now.
Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but... Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah. The sweet, smart girl who never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the Chief made peace, but... I gotta say, it ate at him all day. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people, they mostly don't change, even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable. You're not a troublemaker. But Tyler, I mean, if he goes now, don't let him take you with him. I can't. I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. to just let go. What's happening? I'm so scared, Allison. Me too. I don't want to go. And maybe... Maybe we should tell them the truth. Are you sure? I don't know. Maybe. But... What if we get in trouble and then we both get sent away? 
Hey, Chief Brown. Wait. I, uh... I went back to the house and got these three kids. They, um... They wouldn't let me take anything else. I'm sorry. Sam, please tell them to let us stay together. Please. Oh, gosh. Please. I, I don't have that kind of power. Sam. Oh, kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back, and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. I just wish I could forget about it all. Never think about it again, ever. I understand. Trust me, I do. But there are ways to make peace with it. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... It never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You gotta tell those ghosts to move on. Tyler keeps telling me that, too. So you two agree on something. But I'm just not sure I can. Maybe it's time I finally talk to somebody about it. It's on me that you haven't already. I was raised pretty skeptical of all that. But there's no shame in getting help. Please, just do what you need to, OK? I'll support you in any way I can. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Exhausted. But not like I'm about to have a heart attack, so that's an improvement. Oh. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed, did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did.
How close were he and Marianne? I, I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well... Your mom and him were close, so... That's a possibility, but... I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. <laughs>